day six of my classroom setup. Okay, so no joke, literally last year I was here all five days, Monday through Friday, so I was so happy that I had the weekend to just de-stress and really think about what I wanted to do with my classroom. Yeah. When I ended my last video, I had gotten just a little bit done because I was literally only here for an hour, but today I'm working on my Notable Woman in STEM bulletin board, and I don't really think it's going to be a bulletin board, but I think it's just going to be a portion of my wall and I really hope it looks nice. I got these like free posters online and they are in Spanish. I think they also have them in five or six other languages as well. In case you would like to have them in your classroom, I'll have them linked down below. But I think that these are just amazing. And I also have this printed out and in Spanish, this just means notable woman. And I have this printed out in yellow, but I also have it printed out in a green as well. You really can't tell because of the color right there but I don't know if I wanna do yellow and green or just yellow. So that's going to be my mission for today. I'm really not quite sure if I'll get a lot of other stuff done, but I'm happy with this because I have a blank space in my wall right there. And I really have not known what I wanted to do with it, but I found these for free thankfully and i just made this little thing myself off of canva so i'm hoping it looks nice and i'm gonna go work on that and hopefully this doesn't take me that long but i really think it's going to turn out to be quite nice been friends since 1995 same street, you, me, my ride or die All the years it would grow us apart, yeah Moved away, but you're still in my heart, yeah Call you up, how you been? Can we play and rewind? Yeah, those other guys are true They don't care, no, like I do I've been waiting on you Right now, my dilemma is that I have eight posters, but right now this four really looks good. And I can recenter it if I want to, but like putting this one here, it's just a little bit low. Putting this one here, it could just be a little bit high. So I just have to play with the space just a little bit to see what I like because I have four more photos that I have to put up, but I'm not quite sure if I want to do four and four or like add one more here, one more here, one more here, one more here. I'm not quite sure. So I just have to mess around with the space just a little bit. upset with how it turned out it really does just seem a bit bare to me because like this is really really white in my opinion and that's really really white in my opinion but I don't know if the border that I have would look nice around it like it could I'm just not entirely sure this is a color border that I do have right now it's just like a bunch of shades of blues and greens and it does have that little scallop on the edge but I'm not sure if it would look good if you look at what I have it could look good I mean I kind of do wish I put a background on it because I don't have any construction paper back there so I think if I put 
put the border up with construction paper, it would look a lot better. But for right now, I'm not sure if I want to put up the border or not. Okay, so I really was just not being smart because this thing that I took down in the beginning is the perfect size to put all of those posters on. And then I have the background and then I have the border with it and I don't have to do anything else. And I'm going to just go ahead and take those posters down and put them right on there. And I wish I would have done that originally, but I did not. So I'm going to go ahead, make that as my background, put the posters on there, and I think it'll look a little bit better and I think it will match my classroom theme a lot more. that I'm just going to cut the white border on here so that way it'll look a little bit more nice when I put it on this type of construction paper so I'm going to go ahead cut all of the white borders on all of these and then I'm gonna put it up and I think that'll look ten times better since I'm going to go ahead and cut I would just take a little bit to just kind of chat with you all just because I haven't done that in any of my classroom setup vlogs yet so I really hope that the cutting of the paper is not annoying but I really have been feeling so stressed out with this classroom setup and I feel that there is such a big stigma and expectation that like teachers really do need to have these cutesy classrooms, especially at the elementary level. And I don't even teach elementary, but just seeing what everyone is doing online, like on Instagram and YouTube and Twitter and all of that, like there is such a big expectation to have a cute setup classroom and of course since i was growing up i always wanted a classroom and i always wanted it to be cute and inspirational as well but i also feel that there's so much to compete with at the same time because every classroom is so unique but i feel like if you don't have a certain type of classroom that like you're not in with everyone else i know i've been seeing so much of the boho theme and i feel like my classroom does not fit into the boho theme at all so i feel like when people look at my channel on youtube like they just they may not stick around because I don't have a cute classroom and I feel like especially with having YouTube like you have to have a cute classroom but of course I don't have a classroom and I'm not setting it up just for YouTube. Like this is my first time being able to actually set up a classroom because last year I did not have a classroom until like September so I couldn't set it up at all during the summer and that was really really hard. I think I was setting my classroom up like well into January because I was still putting stuff up and I have been feeling really overwhelmed a little bit because I feel like I want my classroom to look like a certain style. And if I don't meet that style, I'm kind of letting myself down. And that is way too much of a big expectation to have on myself. And there's no need to feel that stressed and overwhelmed about a room. And if you're feeling like the same way, I would highly encourage you to not feel that way and to not compare yourself to others because it is so easy on social media to compare yourself to others. Everyone does everything different. And I know my students because I have them all four years, so I know what they need and I know what they benefit from. So that's kind of how I'm styling my classroom because I know them and I know their background and I know their needs and I know what helps them and I know what doesn't help them but instead of just putting up black and white paper, I decided to do it in a bit more colorful way and I completely swayed away from my classroom um, theme originally because my first classroom video, I said that I wanted it to be pastel and I think this is less pastel now and I'm not that upset about it. Originally, I really was upset. I was like, oh, like this is a shade or two darker. I'm a little bit upset, but it's whatever. And now I really like all the colors that I have in my classroom but I'm really trying to make it a point to not have everything on every single blank space because I think that can be really distracting for students and that's just my personal thought I mean everyone else has a different student and everyone knows what your students benefit from and I guess my whole rant here would just be don't feel pressured to have your classroom a certain way where if it doesn't fit for you don't feel pressured to spend a whole bunch of money on your classroom setup if you don't have the money there are so many free resources 
resources online and if you have the time to create your own resources, use Canva because ever since I found out that educators get an account for free, I have been using and abusing that like crazy. Like almost everything in here is made free from Canva and they have the templates and I've just adjusted them to make them in Spanish or I've changed them here and there. Like I did not spend that much money on my classroom setup and a lot of the stuff that I have I've used from last year as well because I bought a whole bunch of stuff last year thinking that I was going to be able to do a classroom setup and I never did because I didn't have a classroom until September. So that's a little bit like where my headspace is right now, especially we are well into the summer and there's a lot going on and it's really, really stressful thinking about going back to school, but <laughs> but I hope you're not stressed. <laughs> and I'm feeling less stressed as the day goes on and I'm feeling a bit more confident in myself and my teaching abilities and going back into the classroom and with my classroom and having a nice classroom really does make me feel better but I don't feel like I need a good classroom in order to be a good teacher. So don't think that your classroom defines your teaching because you define your teaching. So really you ain't gonna hit me back, yeah. Now it's all just you got me on blast, damn. You're over it, I've been done. We're so toxic, can't get enough. No matter what you tell yourself I should have known that we could We could never be friends I hear you just thought we could But we could never be friends type of way well that's fantastic nothing that's something and now it's drastic don't tell your friends we're so done it never ends you have a fun oh well go and say it like a mantra you know what you want to yeah Honestly, it's not that bad at the top. It's just a little bit hard to see but that construction paper is just showing a little bit But that's not like the worst thing in the world Like I don't think I'm going to go ahead and recut it and adjust that border But for right now, I think it's okay. I'm really not liking that top I thought I was going to like it more but now that I have the green border I think I'm going to make a new title just so that it pops a little bit more and it looks just a little bit more nice It's not bad. It's like just very low-key, but I think I could do something else quickly to make make it just a little bit more nice but as for right now that no joke took me 45 minutes to do <laughs> and I think the hardest part about classroom setup is when you come in and you think okay I'm going to get x y and z done and then you get x done and it took you two hours to do x and you're like wow I don't even have the energy to do y and z right now and as a teacher like you know like everything that you do has to be so meticulous and it has to be so precise and you really want it to look good because that's just like the perfectionist in every single teacher, but I'm so disappointed that that no joke took me 45 minutes to do because I wanted to get so much other stuff done in that time frame. but here I am 45 minutes later and I cut six posters and I put them up on my wall. Like, 
who feels the same but i have a giant mess right now i have not cleaned up since friday the last day i was here so i really need to take some time and clean up because i do not know what i'm going to do next <laughs> Okay, so I just cleaned up a little bit, and honestly, when your classroom is clean and organized, you really can appreciate the smaller things that go on. Like, you really cannot appreciate the smaller things and all the hard work you put into your classroom setup unless it is clean and organized, because if it's not clean and organized, then you're just focusing on the mess. So now that I've cleaned up just a little bit, I can actually appreciate the work that I've done, and I'm really, really proud of myself. But there is one more thing that I don't know if I'm going to get to today, but I have these equity statements that I got from Martina Bex in the Comprehensible Classroom. She actually used these as a weekend chat, so that way when students come back from the weekend and they wanna talk about what they did, they can talk about little things that they did. But she created an equity slideshow, which is instead of saying, oh, I went to the movies, I ate food, I danced, I walked my dog, it's like I learned something new or I solved a problem or I helped another person or I solved another problem or I read something that made me think, I saw something incredible. Like these are things that all students can do and may do over their time period that they may not think of. So I really love these. However, I do wish that the background wasn't tan because I wish it popped just a little bit, but I'm not sure where I wanna put them. I honestly may put them next to my notable woman and just kind of plaster them there and see how they look because I feel like with the notable woman in STEM, with the equity statements, they really do go hand in hand. And that is really far back into my room and all those students see it and we will look at it. Um, and I'm already having ideas about how I can include that into a classroom lesson plan. Um, they may not see these equity statements just because they are rather small. I think the font size has to be like 14 or something. So they definitely won't see it unless they are up close. And I really don't like to just put something up in my classroom just to put it there. Like I really like it to have a significance and this does have a significance and I can easily draw the student's attention towards it, especially since I'm already thinking about doing a lesson about just that corner in my room. So I think I'm going to put these there. See how that looks. I do wish they were a different color, but it is what it is and hopefully Hopefully it looks good, I think it will, and I think it'll look cute. I just put up those equity statements right next to the woman posters and honestly it does look cute however I do think that I will change it I think I may put adjectives in Spanish like powerful brilliant intelligent um, knowledgeable things like that because I think that would have a much more profound impact because that definitely does describe what those women are and I could definitely do that on Canva it would probably take me like five minutes and I could adjust the brightness and the colors and the sizes and the shapes and the font and I'm not going to do that today, but I definitely will do that in the future. And I am going to change the title just because it's a little bit bland and I wanted it to be just a little bit more bold, but it didn't print out looking that way. And honestly, the color looks more green and I really wanted it to look more yellow, but those are just small things. At least for right now, I have this. And if I don't change it for whatever reason in the future, like I still have something, it doesn't look bad. I really do think it looks nice, but I know that there are ways that I can make it to look even better. But honestly, that is it for today. I got a lot done, although it doesn't seem like I got a lot done. This blank space in my classroom has been bugging me for the whole entire year and I had no idea what I wanted to do with it. So 
I'm happy that I finally came up with something and I've been here for no joke the past hour and a half and I obviously wanted to get a lot more done but I am hot I don't know why I wore a long sleeve shirt today and the heat's blasting and I'm in jeans and it's just like this is not working out and I'm not going to stay here and get frustrated because you know once you start staying here and you get frustrated then everything looks bad and you just I'm not in the mood and I would rather leave right now in a positive mindset than stay and try to work on things that like I don't even know what I want to do so I'm happy with the outcome for today as always if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content just like this one I am going to be doing classroom updates most likely for the next few weeks this is already classroom setup day six and I imagine I'm going to have at least five more videos because I think I'll be here for about five more days so make sure you're subscribed so you get to see all of those videos and if you haven't watched my previous ones make sure you watch those as well and I hope your classroom setup season is going really really well and if you are doing your own class classroom setup. I really do hope that that's going well. Leave a comment down below if you have ideas or inspiration or if you're looking for help. We are all here to help you and I hope you're having a fantastic summer.